Part A of this question is concerned with the sizing of the fermenter in order for a 90% conversion of substrate. In order to solve this, we ne first need to find the dilution rate um, of fluid going into the fermenter. This is equal to the flow rate in over the volume of the fermenter, and it's the volume of the fermenter which we ultimately want to calculate. We know that the dilution rate is equal to the specific growth rate, which is equal to the maximum specific growth rate times the concentration of substrate over the monod constant plus the concentration of substrate. We'll first begin by calculating the specific growth rate for the cells in this process. We have mu is equal to mu max Cs over Cs plus Cs. And we can sub in our values given in the question 0.8 for our maximum specific growth rate multiplied by the concentration of our substrate. And considering that there's a 90% conversion of substrate, there will therefore be 10% left at the end, hence timesing it by 0.1. Because this is the initial, the 10 grams per decimeter cube is the initial substrate concentration. And we're interested in using the final substrate concentration. Put this over Ks, which is 4 grams per decimeter cube plus 0.1 times 10, and this gives us a specific growth rate for our process of 0.16 of hours to minus 1. We can then rearrange our equation from before into the form V equals Q over D over mu. V equals Q over mu, the specific growth rate. In the question we're told that the feed rate is a thousand decimeters cubed per hour and we know that our specific growth rate mu is 0.16 hours to the minus one. We can therefore calculate our volume of fermenter from this. And we find that it's equal to 6,250 decimeters cubed. Part B of the question asks us to find the exiting cell concentration for the process. So we have our yield co equation of the substrate over cell concentration. And we rearrange this in terms of our cell concentration out, C out. That's a negative. And our initial cell concentration then is zero as we're growing the cells. And we substitute our values in from the equation. And we get an exiting cell concentration of CC out to be 4.1 grams per decimeter cubed. Part C of the question is to determine the volumetric flow rate at which washout will occur and the flow rate at which the cell production rate will be at a maximum. We'll first start by calculating the dilution rate at which washout occurs at. So we have an equation which links to our maximum dilution rate.
and we can find our maximum dilution rate from this. Using the values given in the question, we find that the maximum dilution rate possible for this process is 0.5714 hours to the minus 1. We can then use this to find the flow rate that this occurs at. So bearing in mind that D equals Q over V, and therefore Q equals DV, bearing in mind that our volume of fermenter is 6,250 decimeters cubed, we can then state our volumetric flow rate is 0 0.5714 times 6250 which is equal to 3571 decimeters cubed per hour. And then in order to calculate the flow rate at which the cell production is at a maximum, we need to calculate the dilution rate at which the cell production rate is at its maximum. So we use this formula, which was in the previous question. And we can just substitute the values into it, which we get in our question. So D max productivity is equal to 0 0.8 times 1 minus the square root of 4 over 4 plus 10 and we get a value equal to 0 0.3724 hours minus 1. We can then find the flow rate this occurs at by multiplying this dilution rate by the volume. And we find that this maximum flow rate, this flow rate for maximum productivity, Q is equal to 2,327 decimeters cubed per hour.